There's someone here. Welcome to YouTube. I make videos. Hey guys, it's me Bowser64, and welcome back to another video playing Perfect Dark again. This is Canary Experimental Build of Xenia. It is 558-77F4C6. It's the build made on October 25th, 2022. We're running Perfect Dark on Direct3D12 in RTV and DSV mode on an AMD video chip on my uh, Steam Deck right here. I just wanted to make this quick video to let you guys know the bugs have been fixed in my previous video. So thank you so much to the Xenia Canary developers out there. You guys are just so amazing. You blew my mind. I, I uh, posted something on um, GitHub about this bug and dude, they got right on it. They fixed it, it seems like. And now it's just like the game works fine. The scripting is fixed. You just, everything works like it's supposed to. And even the bugs in the intro are fixed. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about here. So I don't know, um, I don't think there's an actual reset button like on normal emulators here, but we're just gonna go ahead and, um, yeah, I'm pretty good at crashing stuff. What's that? <laughs> Oops. Okay, let's go ahead and try this again here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the game. I want to demonstrate that this does actually work, guys. Um, and, uh, oh good. Yes, it's actually more stable. I don't get as many crashes trying to open up the game as well. I noticed that. Thank you so much for fixing that. That was super annoying when I had it just crashing all the time. Dude, I'm so excited. Like, I can hardly even talk right now. You don't even know. Like, I can play Perfect Dark on my Steam Deck, like, like for hours on end and just, like, jam out on, There's someone here! And I don't have to worry about any of this anymore. And it's just like, oh dude, it's so great. Let's check out this. I'm going to let the intro play. You're going to see that after Carrington says, don't joke. He says, don't joke. After he says, are they all expendable? Well, now that doesn't freeze anymore. Watch this. And in my previous video, you could see that that wasn't the case. As you can see, Carrington is responding to Joanna, so there is a scripting bug of some kind there, I'm guessing, that was keeping him from responding to the Joanna. In my previous video of the previous build of um, Xenia, I forget what build it was, I'll have to look it up in my previous video, it's a long title. But anyway, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into the Pelagic 2 here, and um, we're going to show, like, this is the main part where the Objective 2 in Pelagic 2 um, was not working properly so i'm going to show you guys it working properly so here you go so we've already completed special agent and agent i'm assuming that my walkthrough would have worked on perfect agent now but hopefully you won't need that anymore because they have fixed the bugs as far as i can tell i just did a like a casual playthrough before i started shooting this video so let's go ahead and show you guys so disable primary power source, deactivate GPS and autopilot, and rendezvous and escape with Elvis. Those are the objectives. Objective 2 is the, the problem child that was uh, being a problem before. I'm just going to go ahead and skip the intro. I don't want to waste anybody's time. Alright, you go ahead and secure that parameter. I'm going to go ahead and shoot this guy right here in the back. I have no honor. I am a bad person. <laughs> Not really, but it's just like, dude, for real, like bodacious, man. <laughs> so here's the thing. Um, this guy's going to set off the alarm if we don't get him taken care of. All right. So let's go ahead and go into the power room. I like to get rid of this camera because it's always in my way. All right. Now. Before, whenever Johanna Dark said something, it would stay on the screen and it wouldn't disappear because the game basically locked up the scripting that, I guess, controls the dialogue function. Um, it's hard to explain, but as you can see now, that is not the case. Let's watch this together. They'll be unable to conduct operations without any power. And before, if I recall, even in this room, um, when she said 
that they'll be unable to conduct any operations without any power that would stay on the screen and you'd have to do other things to get it off the screen I'm going to go ahead and complete objective one here, which is disable primary power source. Uh, I guess I got all of them. I wasn't paying attention. Let's go ahead and check them out. Aha, I did it. Now we're going to go up to the bridge and complete objective two, which is the one that was the big problem before just times out and goes away, but it hasn't. And as you can see, look at this. I came up to these guys. You can't do anything. They won't, they won't pull the plug. They won't say anything to you. You can press a on all of them. You could actually shoot two of these guys or knock them out and they still wouldn't disable the GPS or autopilot because it's like a, a three, four step process. Dude, just walk right into my gunfire. You're super smart, dude. Without the autopilot and the GPS, ship for one off station. Well, that looks promising, right? See how the dialogue disappeared off the screen? It didn't stay on there on the top. That's pretty awesome, right? Well, check it out. It gets better. Hey, hey. Please, don't hurt me. Die, you traitors. Everything's working like it's supposed to. And now, as you can see, we got way further than we ever could have gotten before. Switch this thing off. I'll, I'll shut it down. As you can see, she said, switch this thing off. He said, I'll shut it down. And objective two is completed. Please. Identical to the way the original game was supposed to play on N64. And of course, the XBLA version, the Xbox Live Arcade version that I'm playing right here on the original hardware, which would have been Xbox One. So yes, guys, big news here. It is now fully functional to play Perfect Dark xbox live arcade version on xenia on the current canary build so go out there download the latest build find it for yourselves and have some amazing perfect dark fun i'm gonna give a big shout out to fossilifer so this is my original video i posted about the issue on youtube and um as you can see we got lots of comments there's fossilifer right there she said very informative thanks bunches appreciate it and i was like no problem glad to help and stuff but she said that um, that she it sounded like she was aware of the bugs and she kind of helped um, relay that information to the developers. So a big shout out to Fossil for, for being awesome. And um, I don't know if you actually talked to them or they were just already had this on their bug list of things to fix. But thank you so much. Um, you're still awesome regardless. And I am super excited I can now play Perfect Dark on my Steam Deck with no bugs. So yeah, you can follow me on Twitch right there. I also have my Discord link right there. You can go ahead and join my Discord server, chat me in real time. Super awesome. Just download the October 25th build of Xenia Canary and enjoy some Perfect Dark on your Steam Deck, guys, because it's a thing. It's a real thing. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. What's up, everybody?